Hello, my beautiful Aquarius. Thank you guys for tuning in to Jaquela's Divine Tarot. This is your first time to our channel. Welcome. Thank you so much for joining me here. I appreciate the love and support. If you resonate with any part of this reading, definitely thumbs up. The video is free. Definitely subscribe as well. We're well over 22K, so I'm going to be doing a cash giveaway to 22 lucky winners. You do not want to miss it. All right, you have to be subscribed to the channel. Um, subscribe to our second channel. Uh, Divinity B Tarot, and then go follow me on Instagram at Jaquela's Divine Tarot and comment under the cash giveaway post. And I'll be choosing those 22 lucky winners on April 22nd. So that'll give everybody enough time to get subscribed and to go and enter to win. Also, uh, once we hit 23k subscribers, I'm going to be doing another giveaway to three lucky winners. So, um, it's my love and appreciation for you guys uh, supporting the channel, supporting our space here. All right, that's what I want to do for you guys. Uh, if you want to book a reading with me, check the description box down below. Uh, I'm going to get all up in your bitch, Nash. Leave me a comment. The more comments we get, it helps our channel grow and it helps these messages circulate around YouTube to the other aquas that need it. So drop me an aqua emoji or drop me a zodiac sign emoji of the person you're thinking about or dealing with. And let's get into this reading. All right, let's see what y'all got going on. This is our official all up in your bitch, Nash deck. Let's get right to it. God, angels, spirit, guides, ancestors, love, divine, light of protection. What's going on with the Aquarius nonprofit? All right. So, yeah, some of you guys are being called to start a nonprofit. Maybe you have a nonprofit or you work, excuse me, work for a nonprofit. All right. Giving back. Okay. Aquarius, you know, that's your energy. You guys rule humanitarianism. You love to give back. All right. We just have hearts like that. A lot of us, we are, we're givers. We just love to give. Look, September. All right, so some of you guys could be starting a nonprofit in September, or maybe you did. Okay, some of you guys could be dealing with someone that's born in September. Okay, I'm getting Virgo energy. All right, so maybe there's a Virgo that wants to give back, or maybe somebody that ghosted you. Maybe they want to give back to you in some type of way. Let's see. Or I'm also hearing like a, a nonprofit to feed like the homeless or the people that need shelter. All right, is what you guys need to be looking into. Wow, wow, toxic family. All right, so some of you guys are going to start maybe a nonprofit to maybe help people um, that may have been in like domestic violence or in like toxic family situations or Aquarius, this is you. All right, some of you guys are dealing with toxic family. Maybe you've gotten away from them. Yeah, look, overnight success. So I definitely feel like if you've been called for called to philanthropy to give back, to do a nonprofit work, okay, this is going to be very, very successful for you. All right, so definitely get started on that Aquarius. Yeah, prayer. You've been praying about this. Some type of prayer is going to be answered between now and September. All right. Or maybe there's something that could have happened in September. Maybe you've been praying for like a new beginning or something since September. Or there is somebody maybe praying for you, praying for you to come back if you ghosted them. Or maybe somebody ghosted you and you're praying for this person. Some of you guys are prayer warriors right? is what I'm hearing. Yeah, blocked. You blocked somebody here. So somebody could be praying to get back in your good graces here. Some of you guys are blocking out family that are toxic, people that mean you no good. You know what I mean? Yeah, December. Somebody could be born in December. All right, Sagittarius energy here. Something significant could have happened in December to you that made you want to like turn your life around or to, you know what I'm saying, have a new beginning here, Aquarius. Yeah, look, online dating. So some of you guys are online dating here. I'm hearing Christian mingle. <laughs> so some of you guys could be on Christian mingle because we got prayer here with the online dating. So online prayer. Uh, so I don't really know. I feel like maybe whoever this is that you've been praying for, the type of partner you've been praying for, you might actually meet this person online, Aquarius. All right, some of you guys are definitely doing some online dating. I'm also hearing pray before you pray before you get on there that that uh your angels and your spirit guides heighten your discernment because you know that online dating stuff, okay, it can kind of get crazy. Yeah, move on. So some of you guys have blocked toxic family or someone that you had a family with, you blocked them and you're moving on here. This person may want to talk to you or they want to know, have you moved on? Some of you guys are moving, relocating. You want to get away from your family. Yeah, black magic. All right, so somebody here could be doing black magic on your, uh, like if you have a business or a nonprofit or the fact that you have like, it seems like to them, maybe you, your success is just happening overnight to them and they want to do whatever they can to stop it. Whoever this is could be born in December. All right, so there could be somebody that's born in December that's doing black magic here. Yeah, mental health. They're crazy. They need to fucking, I'm not going to say they're crazy, but hell, that's just what came out. All right. So yeah, like I said, with this online dating, pray for, pray before you meet with these people, or whatever the case may be. Prayer with online dating and mental health. Somebody here needs help. There's somebody crazy that like, likes picking up people up online. All right. So be mindful 
Aquarius, if you are doing online dating and stuff like that, if they come off weird or whatever the case may be, listen to your intuition here. Because I feel like you pray a lot or you talk to the divine a lot. They're going to let you know if somebody here is not right in the head. Somebody here like could be online looking for like mental health places or maybe somebody uh, is seeking therapy or something here. Somebody here could be doing black magic on your mental or on your mind. Of course, this keeps coming out. Like people trying to mess with your psyche, to mess with your mind, okay? To keep you from making the right decisions or to keep you confused, all right? So keep, protect your mind, protect your crown chakra, all right? Yeah, divine timing. So I feel like in divine timing, if you guys are looking to move or get away from toxic family or get out of a toxic situation in divine timing, you are going to eventually get out of this or move out of this if you haven't already. Yep, you got a fresh start here, Aquarius. So a fresh start for you. Congratulations. You have a fresh start coming. Something you prayed for. Hidden agenda. So like I said, somebody here, if you met somebody online, use your discernment. Somebody may have a hidden agenda in regards to why they're coming back. Wow, I'm coming back. Somebody here that's trying to come back in your energy, they have a hidden, hidden agenda, Aquarius. This person could be trying to stop you from having this fresh start. Can I get one more card for the Aquarius? Well, no. We're only on six minutes, so we can do a few more. What else is here? Yeah, someone is lying. So someone that is coming back in your energy, they're lying, Aquarius. They have a hidden agenda. Somebody here in your energy, yeah, it could be a best friend. Some of y'all have a lying-ass fucking friend as to why they keep coming around or something like that. Some of y'all could have a friend that's jealous of you because you have a fresh start. All right, period. Little businesswoman. All right, so somebody could be mad or jealous because you have a fresh start or you started a fresh business or you're handling your business. Some of you guys need to be mindful doing business contracts and business deals because somebody here could want to do business with you or work with you or something, but they have some type of hidden agenda. All right, so read the contracts. Yeah, dark spirit. This keeps coming out. Somebody has a dark spirit on them. They have a hidden agenda. They just want to look and see what they can take from you, how they can use you in some type of way. Yeah, it could be an aunt that has a dark spirit. Or like a family member that's trying to come back around. Yeah, a model. Now, some of you guys are modeling. Could be models. I'm here. I don't know. I was hearing mod model. I don't know if that's somebody's name. I was hearing model. Somebody's nickname could be Mo or somebody's name could be Dale. I was hearing Delaware. Somebody could live in Delaware. Okay, degree. All right. Now, some of you guys are like uh modeling going back to school okay and you have a business or whatever going after your passions you're doing the damn thing ancestors speak all right so some of you guys are getting a degree in like uh like history learning more about like your lineage and things like that or some of you guys are just like going back to school getting a degree congratulations aquarius all right, a lot of cards fail. Yeah, spirit guides. Your spirit guides are here guiding you on this fresh start. Yeah, secret family. Somebody here could have been hiding a secret family. Your ancestors could have given you clues on this. Yeah, a new house. So somebody here that has a secret family, they could have just relocated and got a new home. Or this is you, Aquarius, getting a fresh start. Yeah, dark times. So if you're having dark times, Aquarius, your spirit guides are leading you out of this. Somebody here that had a hidden agenda against you, they could be losing their home. Um, or they could be going through some dark times right now. Yeah, divorce. Now, some of you guys are divorcing the situation and you're moving on. Yeah, generational wealth. All right, some of you guys are building generational wealth here, so somebody could be coming around to stop that. August, somebody could be born in August. I'm getting Leo energy. Yeah, new love offer. So some of you guys definitely have a new love offer coming in, but look, the lie detector determined that was a lie. So be mindful if you're dealing with a new love situation. Ask plenty of questions. If you feel like somebody is lying or whatever, go with your intuition, your instinct, because somebody here is lying here. Maybe saying that they don't have a family or whatever, and maybe they do, or they're in business with somebody that they are dealing with. Okay, or this is you. Or somebody here is coming in your energy, they're lying. It's like you are like a human lie detector, Aquarius. You can tell. You're very intuitive. Especially if it's a Leo. Yeah, break up. So somebody could be coming back in your energy saying they broke up with somebody. They're no long, longer dealing with someone. They're lying here. Or some of you guys are getting over a breakup or something. Yeah, right when you do, Aquarius, wish fulfillment is here. So if you're going through a breakup, a heartbreak, okay, keep your head up, baby. All right, you got wish fulfillment coming in. Wow, sister. So some of you guys have a sister coming to your rescue or to help you. This may be a friend of your sisters or something. Mm-hmm, May. Somebody could be born in May. I'm getting Taurus energy. Maybe you have a sister that's a Taurus. Wow, talent. So somebody's very talented. Either you or your sister or brother is very talented here. Yeah, a drinker. All right, so somebody here is very talented, but it's like maybe they don't use their gifts. They drink a lot or they smoke or they have some type of addiction. Or this could be you, Aquarius. Somebody has some type of gift here, but they drink it away or they smoke it away. They're not using it. Yeah, divine feminine. 
You're very talented here, Divine Feminine. Or somebody here is drinking a lot in regards to you. Maybe because you have a fresh start and they see you using your talent. Yeah, trust your intuition. I'm telling you. You are a human lie detector. They cannot hold things back from you. Yeah, give back, Aquarius. It's time. Some of you guys are going to come into a lot of abundance and blessings where you can bless other people and help other people around the world. It's time to give back here. Let's stay together. Wow. So somebody may want to move in here. Maybe a sister or family member may want to move in. Use your intuition, especially if they're drinking and they smoke or they like to party. They on a different wavelength than you. Be mindful. Or this could be somebody new. This could be somebody, uh, a new love offer. Could be a divine feminine, divine masculine. You end up meeting. You guys might actually end up moving together or getting a home together. Yeah, a tarot reader. All right, some of you guys are dealing with a tarot reader here. Or maybe you are a reader. You read cards yourself. Yeah, bounce back game stronger, Chris. All right, so this tarot reading could be confirmation for you. Whatever you're going through, you're going to bounce back from it. Be mindful of someone coming back around with hidden agendas. Okay, and this is the truth. All right, so if you resonate with any part of this reading, thumbs up the video. Leave me a comment in the comment section down below, Aquarius. All right, you have a new beginning here. Do not let anybody from the past that you cannot trust or whatever back in your energy. You got wish fulfillment coming. It's time to give back. You have new home. Um, you have a lot of good things going for you. So do not let this person come back and mess it up. I love you guys so much. Leave me a comment in the comment section down below. Subscribe, um, and I'll see you guys on the next reading. Bye.